Yo, what's good, YouTube? Y'all know me, it's your boy, MacDZ, back up in there, and today, today I got a speaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we back up in there, and uh, today we've got the Bugani Bluetooth speaker. This is the M90. It's a portable Bluetooth, Bluetooth speaker with 30 watt stereo sound and deep bass, long term uh, playback, Bluetooth 5.0, supports TF cards, aux, built in mics for home and other things. So, I was actually um, suggested that I take a look at this speaker when I, I did another video on some of the things that you may see in the background here in a minute. And somebody suggested that I take a look at this right here. So I thought I'd give it a try. Right now on Amazon, it is 50 bucks, $49.98. Plus, there is a clip coupon type of deal going on. You check that box and it seems like you're saving an extra 10% when you apply that coupon and don't worry I'll drop a link down in the description down there for you guys so you can always just click and go alright so as you can hear I got things coming in let's see what we got so the brand is Bugani we got the color orange and this type of black but we'll see momentarily uh, it is battery operated and it is compared to things like the AMAs Go, the XB43, hmm, and a few others that I wanted to just um, see if maybe we'll put this again. So let's take a look around here, around the box, see what we got. Company branding right up top there, model number, wireless speaker with 30 watts of stereo, powerful rich sound. Let's just know that we have some aux right there, that you got your HD clear sound around the side here are some specs and now these specs let you know that the speaker drivers sensitivity and size all right new high-end metal uh, grid surprisingly loud volume with deep bass and of course that it does support that TF card and hands-free hmm. all right this is what the front looks like same um, stuff that's on the on the back but you know what I like about this design that on the box itself they showed you the front and the back that was pretty cool um, on this side it's the same deal that they let you know about the aux the super longs uh, standby and HD clear sound and a little bit more about the wireless speaker but enough to do about that what do you say we go ahead and get up in there <clears throat> excuse me y'all all right so, there we go. You'll have to excuse the small riser. The box was so big, I uh, really didn't want to use one of the bigger risers so it would be out of the frame. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, so you know me. It wouldn't be a Mac video if I wasn't banging into the camera. Here is our speaker. Let's go ahead and take these off. We'll get to you in a moment. Yeah. See what else we got in the box here, though. Okay, so we got a cable and some stuff. Okay, we'll go through that now. See what we got. Put that box to the side. All right, so. Hmm. Not too bad, not too shabby. I like that. All right. So, we have our user manual. There we go. Okay, waterproof wireless speaker, user manual. I like the fact that they include uh, that it is waterproof, but I have yet to see any IPX rating actually for it. So, I'll have to maybe do a little bit more investigating on that, unless I see it here in the user manual. Not really. Anything on the back? Not a pair. Aux mode. There you go. Um, it just says that it is to avoid high temperature. No, but we'll go ahead and check it out. If I'm able to locate those details, or if you guys know before I do, <laughs> go ahead down below and let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll pin it up at the top for you, okay? 
That way you get a, uh, a pin at the top. Okay, in the box we also received, it seems here. All right, a couple of cables. We got our aux in. I like the gold tips, nice. And we also got the USB, looks like a micro USB charging cable. It is. I like the little caps on the on on the on the micro USB, no doubt. But it's micro USB. Come on, y'all. Come on, Bugani. You got a name like Bugani. Come on, Bugani. Let's go. Bugani. Type C, bro. Let's go. Let's get up in there, yo. Okay. All right, so what we got? Make some noise, register your product online, and get a whole lifetime online support and further exclusive special offers from Bugani. All right, come on, Bugani. Here goes your QR code, no doubt. Let's go. What we got going on here? Okay, so not too shabby looking. Um, I'm okay with the orange, uh, you know, it is what it is, but buttons that look like this aren't my favorite, only because after a while they kind of wear, but we'll see if that does occur with this because it's made to look pretty rugged here with these um, with these screws on the outside, uh, the, the, the metal grill, the speaker holes here, the company branding, I like that. The company branding is more of a paint job than like um, than like a plate or something of that nature. So around the side here is still just that very metallic look. And here is your base radiator with your protective slot. Okay, so this is pretty flimsy. This is no way that this is an IPX7. It may be an IPX4, but I'll check it out to see. Uh, like I said online, we do have your aux in, you got your TF card slot, and you have your charging, where it does say that it's a DC five volt. Okay, guys? All right, on this side, nothing else as well. So what we'll go ahead and do is power this bad boy on, see if we can't find something to play. Okay. Okay, so let's go down to the bottom of the barrel here. Let's get in. Hmm. Okay, I went right into pairing mode. That's great. Yo, has anybody else have a little difficulties lately with their scan feature? Look at that. Not really working for me right now. So now I got to back it up. One device connected is my watch. As you guys can see, it doesn't automatically start scanning. Does that mean I have too many devices hooked up to this bad boy and I got to take out some of them? So let's go ahead and just start taking stuff out. What do you think? All right. Unpair that. <sighs> Unpair that. What else we got? Mm. I don't even know where half this stuff is. Oh yeah, I know where that one's at. Got the GoPro there. On a previous device, nah, you out. Okay, look at that. Stuff starts popping up. See if we can't scan now. Am I gonna have to restart? Yo, I really don't wanna have to stop and, and do a restart here on this bad boy. Let me turn you off, Bluetooth, and turn you back on. Let's see what we got. Yeah, just one of those strange things I've been noticing lately with my uh, Note 20 Ultra. The one thing, and I, I'm, I'm just wondering if I have way too many devices connected, and that's a that's a big possibility, because I mean, there's just a ton of stuff that came over when I did the Samsung stuff. It says prepared on a previous phone, yada, 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 a lot of that, a lot of that, a lot of that. You know what I mean? So, all right, scan. Now it's starting to scan. Loom Cube, the LG. I don't know what it's even going to be called, honestly. Uh, that's the problem. I have no idea what that thing's going to be called. So now it's scanning, and now I just don't know what to call it. Uh, GVMHL, that might be it. Let's see. Is that it? Is it? Is it? Oh, it's connected, 
but it's not that. So let's go ahead and forget that. Unpair. I don't know whose that is. That might be somebody else's stuff out there. All right. Let's see. Scan again. All right. Got my Moon Cube. Got my LG. Got the Echoes. Got the bows. Got the smart tags. There it is. Bugani M90. Bugani! Right? Bugani! Okay. There we go. Alright, let's check out that volume. Get that all the way up. Hmm. I don't like that it sh it's uh, sounding like it's... Eh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll get around that. We'll get around that. Let's go ahead and try one of these test beats out. This is just something I've been working on. I know it's horrible, but you know what it is? It's copyright free. Okay, so that's one I just started working on. I'm still going to break that down a little bit more. Let's see something else I got going on here. Especially since I get told not to put on uh, too much hip hop. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so I see I see what they're talking about. Is this though on par with some of the things that you see like in the background there? Where like an LG, that I got the new PL7 right there. I got the XB33 over there. Now, of course, I want to test this with music that is streamable. So um, I'm going to check the different codecs that it shows and that it is maybe able to take advantage of. I'll run it through its paces. I'll really go ahead and probably try to compare it to a few. Don't worry, y'all. That battle is coming right there. I also got the uh, Charge 4 right now. And the reason why I'm going to really do the Charge 4 with those two is because the Charge 5 comes out in less than a month, y'all. And I cannot wait to get that up in the lab. So go ahead. Go down below. Let me know what you think. While you're down there, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me the thumbs, yo. Give me the thumbs. And hey, always be the hero in your story, not the villain in someone else's. Peace.